You know, I have worked in this watershed for about 40 years now, and that's given me uh, a perspective of a few decades on it. And I find myself wondering uh, how the watershed and the world are going to deal with the challenges that we face as a society right now. Science has revealed that humans have a profound influence on the Earth, and today, the decisions that we make to sustain our life and lifestyles, whether that's through the, the food that we choose to eat or whether or not we choose to fly, ultimately can impact the Earth and our climate thousands of years from now. Well, if you think about it, uh, the present could be very different. Uh, think about the last 60 years. What if World War II had come out differently? And uh, because the present could come out differently, that gives us a clue that the future could come out differently. Scenarios are uh, structured accounts of how the future might turn out, and those accounts are uh, told using stories, like short stories, art, uh, such as illustrations or videos or, or plays, uh, and uh, uh, scientific outputs like computer models. So a goal of scenarios is to engage with a wide diversity of people that have a lot of different experiences and they can bring a lot of creativity and stretch the bounds of plausibility in terms of what might occur in the future. And what that does is that presents surprises to us and the more surprises that we are exposed to, the better we are prepared at facing a future where we're uh, undoubtedly going to face surprises. We use scenarios because uh, we, we wanted to understand both the present and the future of the Yahara. Uh, it's an extremely complex region, uh, almost 400,000 people, very large uh, area, both urban and rural, changing in very complex ways. And scenarios seemed like a great tool for understanding uh, what those uh, changes were. Our scenarios, which are called Yahara 2070, develop four Four themes about the future of the Yahara. One of those is the acceleration of technological development and application to solving environmental problems. Um, a second theme is the role of government in protecting uh, water resources. A uh, third one is a uh, disaster scenario. It's uh, what would happen uh, if we don't do enough to protect water resources. And the fourth one is a values-driven scenario. It asks uh, what would happen if values shifted towards sustainability and uh, protecting a good world for future generations. It's important to anticipate future changes and challenges related to water sustainability, uh, such as changes in crop production, changes in climate, so that we can come up with effective ways to deal with these potential challenges, as opposed to coming up with uh, more costly and potentially counterproductive, uh, more reactive solutions if and when these challenges arise. Scenarios can help us understand the range of things that might happen, but more importantly, I think they teach us the importance of continual learning and uh, continual innovation to deal with an unfolding future. If you're not investing in learning and in developing uh, a sort of an open template for dealing with the future, you're going to be surprised and shocked over and over again. And uh, scenario thinking makes it clear that uh, that sort of investment is incredibly important for the resilience of society. So I believe that scenarios are a way to bring people together, not only to look at potential futures, but to listen to other people in the community with a wide diversity of experiences, with different and legitimate concerns about the future, and be exposed to new information and, and new ideas that ultimately will all lead together towards negotiating 
a more just, equitable, and sustainable future. And I'm just intensely curious about how this region is going to unfold uh, over the rest of my life and, and beyond. And Yahara 2070 is uh, a, a way of thinking about that. Thank you.